Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah The madhab of Ahl al-Sunnah is known and the minhaj is known but what we find is a lot of our differences in minute uh, ways in, in, in practicing that madhab in that there's differs, differencing there's differences between how we implement those kawaid and, and principles in the asul the usul of Ahl Sunnah and how we deal with Ahl Bid'ah is clear. And it stems from the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Whoever innovates in this religion of ours will have it rejected. And it stems from the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hadith that the Jews break into 71 sects and my ummah into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And it stems from the hadith of the Prophet Rashidin, that it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors. And it stems from the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu do not curse my companions. All of this lays down the usul on these principles of Ahl Sunnah with how we deal with innovation in the religion and how we deal with one another and how we understand the foundation in the religion that it is not something that we can just change and a madhab that changes and a minhaj that changes and an aqidah that changes lap, but rather those principles and that asul remains with us because this is what Allah or Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have given us and legislated for us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so ahabatifillah while we accept those principles in practicing those principles we have differences between the brothers and that sometimes <coughs> sometimes the people find that they differ over Sheikh so and so. They differ over Duat so and so. And due to this, they make love and hate. Al Wala wal Bara. If you love this individual, that's a part of the deen, and we love you. If you dislike this individual, that's a part of the deen, and we love you. Or Bil Aks. If you hate this individual, we love you, and that's a part of the deen. So they make it a part of the deen. This is the danger in which we. We, we've closed off all the door to understanding because what do you do when a, do you be, try to belittle an alim that says so and so has made a mistake but yet he's from Ahl Sunnah and you belittle do, do you now not take from that alim and do you hold the youth even more responsible who have no tools have no way to distinguish the haq and you hold them more responsible and you hate them more and you love them more because they took the position that you wanted them to take this is what is dangerous and what we have to strive to alleviate and to remove from our community and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm al-nafi rizqan tayyibu ilm al-mutakabbilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam